Hey yo guys, I'm Krigo and this is Stardew Valley. Welcome Peggy and welcome viewers. Welcome, welcome all. Well, dear Krigo, nothing is more satisfying than cooking with fresh vegetables from your own garden. I've enclosed a recipe to help you out. Take care, Caroline. Parsnip soup. Well, very lovely Caroline though. Uh, let's also check maybe there's a birthday today or anything. No, but tomorrow it's Sebastian's birthday. Ooh, now let's see what's going on here. Juicy bugs wanted. 100 pieces should do the trick. Peggy, is that you there? Yes, it is. I seek an extremely rare and powerful goop. Known as ectoplasm, it can be found in the mountains of slain ghosts. M. Respodus. Do we have ectoplasm? Ah, uh, let's ignore both of them, Peggy. Because we are not winter minus this year. We will be next year. So I'm going uh, fishing on the seashore. Uh, Peggy, are you joining me? You are not allowed, Peggy. Men only. The ones with the biggest balls can fish only here. Just ask Willy, you know, and you will you will know the truth. Oh oh oh! Nice little chest right here. Yes. Come on, big boy. What do I hear? Peggy is here. Oh no. Oh, come on. Seriously, we already have 105. And here we go. Peggy, what are you doing? Okay, we got a perfect one. Ooh, sea cucumber. All right. Oh, 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 right at the pier. Come on, stay stable, big boy. Yeah, a perfect one. Nice. A red mullet. Did any of you ever had a mullet? I had. You know, as a very, very young child, you know? Um, not by choice, I have to say, though. All right, and... Are you kidding? Stop with the food, man, with the bait. I mean, you know, we are going to smell like the ocean ourselves, right? With so much bait on us. Ooh, a new sardine. Lovely. Hello there, Pegger. I see you have the biggest balls in town too, huh? Oh, in that case, you're welcome. And by the balls, you know, I'm talking about the double <laughs> of the fisting, you know? Well, Peggy, for Sebastian, I believe we do need something like a frozen tear as a present, right? So, oh, wait, did you see that? I got two. Damn, girl. And they are two in the purple fashion stars. How cool is that? Did you ever got two with one hook? Well, I did. You will never be separated. They are true lovers. Two again, damn, bro! Oh. <laughs> oh, that's magic, Peggy. That's magic. I told you, only ones with the biggest balls can do this. Oh, yeah. But two in a row. How funny is that, right? You know? Okie dokie. I got three sardines. Oh, no, two sardines of the purple star.
I did hear a very strange sound. Oh, did you hear that? Did you see that, Peggy? There's a monster there. What the? What was that? Peggy, that's mine. <laughs> All right, now let's see. But did you see that monster? What was that? I did hear a weird sound, though. Very weird. No, come on, Kurigo. We can do this. Oh, Peggy, how difficult. Look at me. Oh, no. Oh, no, Peggy. Peggy, come on. I'm fishing it. We can do it together. We can do it together, Peggy. Oh, no. We lost our bait. So that's bad. Uh... Oh, no, really? Really? We are not doing anything illegal here, though. Okay, there we go. Come on! What am I doing? Okay, here we go. Okay, beautiful. Rat mullet. Come on, Peggy. You can do it, girl. You can do it. No! Ooh, we both caught a herring. Ooh, new sea cucumber burger. Oh, we're also with a lila star, you know, a purple star. I kind of feel bad for Peggy though, right? That she never gets a fish with a, uh, with a purple star or gets two at once. It would be very funny. But yeah, you know, it happens, it happens. Peggy, I'm going to stand here so I can see... Oh, not there. So I can see what you are catching to, right? If it happens. Not if it happens, but when it happens. That's the correct saying. Okay, Mr. Annoying Fist, come on two hours later and only now we get it okay and what do we have here an anchor peggy an artifact of an anchor and of course there we go with that one uh sure that one can go away come on big boy Yes. Oh, oh. Hey, don't be so mean, man. We almost had you. Come on, come on. Yeah. All right, Peggy. I also think it's almost time to go home, right? I mean, you know, we should not always stay up uh, until uh, pass out time. That's kind of bad, right? If you think about it. Oh, 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 there we go. 
And tomorrow it's Sebastian's birthday, so, you know, we have to uh, think about the big boy too, right? Come on, dude! Come on, little fishy, don't be mean. Take it as cold for your butt, though, you know? You can get sick from that. Especially you, because you have a farmer's hole in your pants, right, you know? So, so if you sweat, you know, the sweat can drip away. Come on, man, fish! This fish go to go to an air fryer. I don't know. Uh, P E six six Y, Pegger. <laughs> Very nice though. Oh, you destroy the beach. Oh, it's your best friend. A true angler has respect for the water. Don't you forget that. Yeah, I just want to give him a present too. Hey. Eat herring? Hell no, big boy. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, big boy. Oh, Pegger didn't see you. Oh my god, though. Your face scared me. Oh, Peggy, if you have golden fish, you know they go down here. Uh, and also with the, the star, right? Of purple. The, the light blue one. The other fishes go there, right? Uh, and don't forget, you really have to go to bed right uh, now, actually, right? Oh, burger! You did drop shit in there, but doesn't belong there. Good night! Ooh. Yeah. Journal updates, why? Racing animals! Robin, local copper that lives north of the town. Well, good for her. Now, let's see. Yeah, it's uh, Ro uh, Sebastian's uh, birthday. I'm sure about that. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Hello there, Spaggy. And, yeah, I don't know. Um, Sebastian, I think coffee and other stuff, right? Like that. Oh, yeah, that's why. There's a golden uh, fishy in there. And some wild bait that doesn't belong here either. T and a green of a chewing stick. Peggy, why do you use everything as your garbage pen? Huh, 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 huh? Uh, t -t 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 oh, is there a frozen tear in there? I'll grab one for Sebastian. Uh, do, 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 do. So, frozen tear. There we go. I hope he likes that, though. I really think so, because, you know, he's like, I hate everybody, you know. Nobody understands me. Oh, no. Grab some beer, Peggy. One is for you over here. And grab one for Pam, by the way. Oh, no. Look at my... Look at my energy. I had a very bad night, though, apparently. Uh, I'm going to town. And I'm going to deliver something at Gunther. Can you imagine, you know, you want to study here at the museum, right? And, uh, you know, Clint's machines are just going bananas all over the place. I will just be so <laughs> angry at him, though. The anchor can go there, I suppose. And there we go. Hello there, Peter. You know what? I shall take the children on a field trip sometime. Maybe to the forest. Maybe to the magical forest. I guess speaker will be nice. Maybe someone familiar with nature. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud. Hey! I did see your shoes there, Peggy. What are you doing there? Sebastian, Sebastian. Hello there, kiddo. I want to look for bugs, but mom gets mad when I am all dirty. It's, uh, it's tough. Okay, probably is. Uh, two, 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 two. Another kiddo right over here. Then to Lewis. Hi. Oh, I'm not a stranger anymore, apparently. I'll still come by every night to collect your produce, even in the snow. Well, that's a gentleman, huh? You still need to make money in winter, indeed. Now, Sebastian. Oh, Peggy, that's disgusting. Hi, if you're ever bored, you can always hang out in my room. I hope you're there too, though. As long as I'm not changing, of course. 
Nah, I know. Everything has to be off already, right? There we go. People stay indoors a lot during the winter and do boring stuff. Not me, though, because I'm Alex and I'm cool. Maybe if I read a book, I'd be less bored. Nah. Peggy. It's a nice decoration there, though, but leave Grandpa alone. Pamo. Hey, kids, what you're up to? I'm just passing time, same as always. All right, just hanging out with your favorite woman in town, right? Pam? Here you go. Hey, hey, now this is really something. Thanks a million, kid. And now... Oh, I'm Pegger. So, um, we are watching here... Uh, married with children, you know, with El Bundy. <laughs> Peggy, let's get going, shall we? Oh, where are the kiddos going to? Ah, Yoya Mart. I hate working at Yoya Mart, but how else am I going to make money in this town? You could work for Peggy, right? What do I do for fun? Hmm, that's a good question. I like sleeping with... <laughs> I'm only kidding, man. Oh my god, all my jokes, right? Uh, here we go. And hello. Well, she doesn't want to talk. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. Sure. Now, where is your big boy Sebastian, right? Anything nice here? Not really, right? No. Peggy, do you know where Sebastian is? Ah, you say he's crying at the lake again? I guess winter is a good time to work on my gadgets. I wonder if I could make anything useful for farmers. Maybe. Oh, ho, ho, ho. ah look at this though, huh? Peggy, don't you be shy. Come on, walking in. Oh, hey, give me one second. Sure, big boy. Uh, he's busy. I should leave. Stay put. Aw, Peggy, how polite of you. Okay, sorry about that. I just needed to finish what I was working on. Ask him what he's working on. Compliments the decor in his room. Sure. Decorations? Oh, yeah. Thanks. I've been sticking posters on the wall for years. I guess it's kind of cluttered. That was an instant message from Sam. I guess he wants to hang out. Hey, he's at work. Oh, I don't really feel like going out today. Oh, hi, Kurigo. Hi, Robin. Hi, Peggy. <laughs> Sammy, I know you don't like it when I come in here, but I ran into Abigail at the store and she said she was looking for you. Abigail, huh? Maybe she wants to play with the joystick again. Did you tell her I'm working? I did, but she said she'd probably stop by anyway. Oh, no one's taking my job seriously. I know how you feel, dude. No one ever bothers Maru when she's walking at the clinic. Does everyone think I'm just surfing the web all day? Ask him about his career goals. Peggy, what's wrong? <laughs> Peggy's a little bit shy of the smell in here. Ask him why he doesn't want to see his friends. No, let's go for the first one. Well, I'm trying to save up so I can move out of here, probably to the city or something. You know, if I'd gone to college, I'd probably be making six figures right now. But I just don't want to be part of that corporate red race, you know? Sure, big boy. Well, and I get... You know, avoidance is just insecurity uh, manifest, right? Well, and I guess I just feel more comfortable hidden behind the computer than dealing with people face to face. Yeah, and another thing about that, right? Of course, you can be hating a, a, a sort, uh, sort of working culture, right? Like corporate business. Uh, it's normal too, but then you can do something else, right? Well, I should get back to work. Huh? I need to get this module finished by tomorrow. 
Oh well, big boy. Bye bye and success. Okay, he's coming out of his bedroom. Do you have a kitchen in your house yet? Cooking is kind of like doing lab work, is it? Oh, yep, there he is, Peggy. There he is. You bastard, you're in the way. No, don't you dare. Peggy, are you here? Oh, is it my birthday today? I guess it is. Thanks, this is nice. Sebastian seems lost in thought. Her! Oh, okay, I thought Peggy could not enter. Hurry the F up, man. The birthday is almost over, all right? You know, and he's ce he celebrated it with me. With me, Peggy. What the? Okay, that's a little tight hook, dear. Okay, I'm not... Uh, you know, I didn't see anything. You used protection, I hope, right? All right, let's keep going. Peggy, I leave one for you. Meow. Peggy. Wow. wow, indeed. I should use more of these things. Oh, a bat almost attacked me, Peggy. I almost did spread corona. Okie dokie. It's kind of weird, though, that we did not level up or fishing after a whole day fishing, right? Yeah, yesterday. Uh, a very, very, very strange little Peggy. Very strange indeed. Peggy, come first. She doesn't check her little pink chest. <laughs> By the way, uh, we could also make something else, I believe. Hmm. Uh, yeah, the computer, but we do need something else, right? A, a crab pot, 40 wood, and 3 iron sticks. Peggy, I'm going... Uh, what? Don't you like it? Hmm. I'm taking all the iron, Peggy. I apologize. Could you do the harvest, please? Yeah, I'm coming in a second, Peggy. Don't you worry. Right now, I will come, all right? Oh, beautiful, I have to say. Very nice, very nice. Well, uh, well okay, that's a lot of uh, alcohol, Peggy. I, I have to worry a little bit, maybe. But very cool, though, very cool. The smell of uh, old chocolate pie, also very delicious. I like the decorations on the wall. Very homely, though. I like it. Oh, did you see? Little kitty cat was there. Okay, you are going to do that. Then I'm going to... No, Peggy, it's up to you. You can pickle something. Pickle Peggy. Mm, to -do -to -do -to -to. I mean, you know, we don't always have to do it, right? You know, little pickle Peggy can do it too. And four right over there. And then we have... Come on. Yes, these over there. Can we just plant these over here? Yes, we can. Lovely. All right. So we have automatically, you know, some garbage shit in there that we can put in here. I should not curse, though. Uh, right over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a run, huh? Peggy's a big fan. I'm kidding. <laughs> Good night, Peggy. Good night. Oh, now let's check the profits. Hot pepper jellies, pickled hops, and pale ale. Wow, the pale ale sells for rather well, does it not? Not bad, only for five. Wow. Very nice, though. So yeah, by that, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful time, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay happy, stay healthy. Don't forget to subscribe, though. Bye-bye.